contain in addendum um, to the report, which will also make sure that it's available to yourself. I quote, Exco, MECO, and Council attention is also drawn to the Regulation 32 procurement of services under contract by another organ of state as follows in the September 2017 and noted, and, and noted reported uh, during the period, close quote. Now the track record of our DA-led administration shows how hard uh, we have worked to get the Tswane back on track. It shows how much we have put in place, and the track record will indeed speak for itself. And whatever happens on Thursday, history will indeed judge us accordingly. We have fought very much to combat and expose corruption and maladministration, and we've began to ensure that better service delivery is delivered to the people. To date, we have been able to stabilize the city of Tswane's finances. It must also be remembered that the city was also on the brink of bankruptcy when we took over. By strengthening controls over supply chain processes, slashing unauthorized and unnecessary expenditure, and extricating the city from unlawful and expensive contracts, which benefited the politically connected um, that was under the administration of the ANC. This, um, as I said uh, before, in particular respect of the biggest single item of ANC corruption in local government history, the Peo Smart Meter contract valued at over 2 billion rand. The DA-led administration, together with the civil society, were successful in convincing the courts to set aside um, and bringing um, us closer to providing affordable electricity to our people. Other contracts entered into the ANC mal administration um, that uh, the Msimanga administration currently challenged, including the West Capital Project. Now, you cannot do anything relating to Shubat Park because of the contract that the city finds itself in under the ANC administration. What happened is that if you move now from Shuat Park all the way to Attridgeville, every piece of land, the grave, Marawa start uh, 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 precinct there, the fresh, green, uh, fresh produce market, all have been signed over to one company. Now we want to develop there. We cannot do, uh, do that because of the corruption that has taken place. And all of this at the rate of what? One rent a year. Yeah, like they are paying one rent a year. And these are some of the contracts that we find ourselves in, and we now need to make sure that we correct those. We've spoken about the fleet contract um, that also has been taken under review. Let's not forget the broadband contract, valued at several billions of rents that we are also now dealing with. Additionally, when the DA assumed office in Swani, we were astonished to find that the ANC had made approximately 900 political appointments in the office of the executive mayor, all drawing salaries from the city, which have now been uh, slashed. We sold the mural mansion for 5.1 billion rand in order to build houses for the disadvantaged. We've banned the blue lights. We've continued to engage with communities. We've increased and um, quadrupled the amount of uh, 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 maintenance budget that, we have, uh, that has been available to ensure that services and better maintenance is given to the people of Tswane going forward. We reformed the expanded public works program selection and recruitment process, ensuring that it's a, it's, 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 it's a fair and transparent system that, 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 that we now employ, instead of the crony system that has been put in place. The random selection process via lottery system implemented by our, our DA-led administration gives everyone, and not just the politically connected, an opportunity to benefit from the, from the program. We allocated 137.2 million um, uh, rents towards the EPWP initiatives this financial year. This will lead to more jobs and skills for the unemployed. The city's health department is currently funding the Department of Home, uh, the Department of uh, Home Medicine at the University of Pretoria with development of evidence-based community-oriented substance um, use program, what we call COSAP. To date, over 2,000 people have benefited and enrolled on the COSAP program, and more than 12,000 follow-up visits were conducted to intensify the interventions. This excludes people who are reached through awareness and education campaign. It is estimated that we have reached over 40,000 people through the outreach program that we have started. Our 24-hour uh, call center also um, we, uh, uh, ensures that we are able to reach out and we have people that reach out to us on a 24-hour basis. The Hope Line, as we call it, takes calls and refers uh, callers for assistance. Hope Line is one of our five response interventions to ensure that we fight the scourge of uh, drugs and substance abuse. And I'm pleased to announce that since the launch of the Hope Line, the city of Swan has registered increasing number of calls and dealt with all the pleas for people who are seeking for help and the families that are affected therefore. 
there are just some of these are some of just the many good stories and successes that uh, can be told by the DA led administration uh, which is here to serve the people of Tswane and at this point in time I also want to say thank you to those that have formed the government with us uh, we want to say thank you to the ACDP we want to say thank you to COPE and also we want to say thank you to the Freedom Front who have stood by us and who continue to stand by us Let's come up to now the, the issue of the motion of no confidence. <laughs> I, think, I think Thursday's motions of no confidence um, in me is in, impeccably uh, inexplainable, in if I may call it that. Because since my action has uh, shown my administration's uh, a stance on, on issues of allegations of corruption and wrongdoing, and my seriousness in acting against the uh, possible uh, um, corruption that is there. So I've taken a stance to say that we need to make sure that we investigate and deal with uh, allegations uh, and make sure that uh, we remain an accountable government. So why a motion of no confidence <laughs> when somebody has decided to act is now being put up? Serious questions need to be asked about the sponsors of the motion, appreciating that no one is being accused of anything. Why are there um, uh, uh, resisting scrutiny and accountability in terms of uh, the project management unit that has been put together? Why is there now a question, while we are now saying that uh, uh, th there needs to be a further investigation into who was responsible, if there is any wrongdoing? Now, if there's no wrongdoing, then the, the, the investigation will, will tell us that there's no wrongdoing. But why then derail? Why then get to suspend or want somebody who is calling for the action that you've been calling for to be then removed from office, unless, if indeed, there is something to be hidden here. And why are they now colluding um, to ensure that the ANC um, gets to get into power via the back door? The question is this here. What is the game plan? We'll tell you what the game plan is. Either somebody gets uh, 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 elected from the opposition to lead the opposition, or then they want to push that there is no mayor in place so that it gets to a point where the province, which is ANC, gets to then assume uh, government. So that is the real uh, reason why this, all these things are being done here. Because if it's indeed about accountability, here we are, we're demonstrating accountability by putting everything on the table and ensuring that we're calling for, uh, 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 for investigation to take place. This aversion uh, to clean and accountable governance um, was only displayed in Nelson Mandela Bay yesterday, where again the EFF colluded with the ANC to take power from the DA-led coalition, and only strengthening my call to have the matter urgently um, and independently investigated. The latest political tactics by the ANC calling for fresh elections is fundamentally undemocratic, considering that the people of Tswane in the 2016 local government elections already elected a government of their choice and voted the ANC out of power. Granted, not with a clear majority, but they told them, we don't want you in power anymore. The residents of Tswane gave a mandate uh, for the DA and other opposition parties to form a coalition government to better govern the city and to deliver quality services to its residents. The ANC has nothing more than a track record of bad governance and corruption, to show uh, for the time um, in governing Tuan. If the EFF choose to collude with the ANC um, in, in their motion of no confidence, it will be a clear demonstration that they support and stand by corruption and wrongdoing. I stand undeterred by the motion of no, confi uh, of no confidence. I will face it, as I've faced so many challenges in the past. I will uncover wrongdoing and take action without fear or favor, a practice which is alien to the ANC, which has built itself on graft and corruption. While the ANC and the EFF attempt to destabilize the legitimate and democratically established government in our metros, we will continue to do our work of bringing tangible change to the people of Tswane until such time as that changes. That is the end of the statement. I will then allow, um, at this point in time, questions, if there are any questions, um, to clarify the matter. Sam? Uh, Mayor, you say that uh, the EFF wants to put the ANC through the back door in the government in front. Many may argue that you yourself got into the seat, that you are sitting right now through the back door 
to the deal that you reached with the EFF to vote with them on an issue-to-issue -issue basis. Then my question to you would be, was there any backroom arrangements that were made between you and the EFF in relation to city contracts of housing and infrastructure that has now gone sour with you going after Dr. Moketi Musola, whom you had hunted to become the city manager of Swami? Thank you. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, Mayor Alex Smith, me Paul. Just want to know: Have you crunched the numbers? If EFF votes against you on Thursday, will you survive or not? Have you done the math? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Good evening. It's Johnny Sai here for African News Agency. Just uh, like some kind of question. Just I want to inquire your relationship with the EFF. Your understanding that was not, where do you think it, it, it went wrong? Because they voted you in the first place. Where do you think, within your opinion, where do you think you you missed the relationship, so to speak? You whether uh, against each other? What happened? Okay. Okay. Um, Hajra. Hajra from Power Nine Eight Seven. May you spent a lot of time talking about the AFC. Um, two years into your term of office. Uh, how many success? Uh, how many um, uh, arrests and prosecutions have there been? Number two, you did not mention the EFF by name once. Does that mean you are scared of them? <laughs> and number three, beyond whatever happens on Thursday in the Tuana City Council, you are the DA's uh, candidate for premier in the province for the 2019 election. Given your <coughs> seemingly horrible working relationship with the EFF and the unlikelihood that the DA is going to win a majority um, come the election, like, what's the game plan? Surely you've got to fix your relationship with the EFF if you hope to govern the province in 2019. All right, um, Sam. Let's 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 start with what you ask. Dr. Musola was not headhunted. Dr. Musola was part of uh, the initial uh, panel or initial um, people that uh, applied, initial applicants. Mm -hmm. What we did is that when we couldn't come up to a uh, an initial agreement from the first panel, we then expanded. So Dr. Musola had already applied by the time, um, so there was no headhunting of that. I put it on record and you can go and ask Dr. Musola. The first time that I ever met Dr. Musola was when he was sitting in front of me when I was interviewing him. That was the first time that I ever met uh, Dr. Musola. So to say that he was headhunted, no, he wasn't headhunted. I was trying to prove that you can get into or you can put administrators who are not politically aligned, administrators that are supposed to do the job of administration without bringing politics into, into their work and leave politicians to deal with politics. That's what I wanted to do, and that is still my intentions in how we run the city of Tuan. Now, you asking about um, uh, sour relations, or if there was any uh, deals that were made. I don't do, I don't do um, deals that uh, have to do with uh, procurement. I never do those, and will never do that. Now, if there's anything untoward um, that had, might have been there, why would I then uh, put uh, um, an investigation on the table? So we're putting everything on the table so that, you know, um, whatever has happened can be, can be exposed. But I can tell you that uh, there will never be any deal that will be made where politicians are then saying these are deals that should be done behind closed doors. Because that will go very, very much against what we said we stand against. Because then it means that you have to men manipulate um, uh, procurement processes in order for you to be able to achieve that particular goal. Yeah, I'd like to add to that. You must remember the reporting that we see on supply chain contracts is after the fact. Yeah. In other words, we are nowhere in any capacity involved in specifications, drawing up specifications of contracts, uh, 
being part of bid, bid adjudication or bid evaluation committees. Not at all. It is done by the administration. Um, uh, all contracts have to be agreed with at the adjudication committee. If it's in excess of 10 million, it goes to the city manager. He signs the appointment letters. We only get a report after the fact of when that contract has been awarded. So that's the only time that we have the opportunity to look at, at look, not the contract itself, only the principle of what has been sourced. Mm. And it is only through uh, information that we are able to ascertain was the process followed correctly, yes or no. So that, that is how a clean government runs its affairs. So my opponent must now explain to you what he meant when he says that uh, any contract above 200,000, <laughs> the mayor must sign for it or the mayor must make sure that he sits on that. So they must explain themselves and they must explain what has been happening all along. Alex, you've asked, uh, you know, have we done the maths? Um, we have done the maths uh, and I think um, if there is going to be a vote uh, to, 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 to remove me and the ANC and the EFF vote together, they will succeed in that particular motion. If the ANC decides to abstain, because again, you must remember there's two motions. Uh, there's the ANC motion, there's the EFF motion. So will they withdraw one and vote for one, or will they then decide that they're going to vote each to their own? So if that is the case, uh, then uh, <laughs> you know it will have very different uh, scenarios. The question then becomes uh, when uh, they, um, if they succeed in, in, uh, in uh, I'm removing me as the, as the city manager through a motion of no confidence, if they agree, then the next thing is... Um, do they want to then put up a candidate? Um, will, the, will, the, will the ANC put up a candidate? Will the EFF put up a candidate? Or will they try and nominate somebody from um, other opposition parties um, or the opposition party, which will be the PAC? Or um, they will try to uh, find uh, an alternative. I can tell you this without uh, a shadow of doubt. The DA has assured that they stand by the men that they put in office. So the only man that will emerge um, as a DA candidate again will be Solim Simang. So let me also answer John Sai. I think, Johnny, I, I don't want to speculate about what went wrong in the relations. I've always prided myself in being a consultative leader. I've always um, ensured that I'm able to consult with all leaders in terms of uh, what we now need to, uh, you know, to do. When we were putting a budget together, even the ANC voted with us on our budget. Because we consulted them and said, this is, we need to make sure that the people of Tswani are put at the center of everything that we do. Therefore, if you're going to bring issues, bring the issues. But if it's not talking to what we're trying to do in terms of saving the people, then I don't want to hear it. And this is how they, they were able to, 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 to vote with us when we put the, 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 the budget together. I've always had engagements with the EFF um, leadership in terms of um, the plans in terms of where we, 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 we are going. And it came by surprise that, uh, you know, when this particular matter came up, then it was, uh, it was a, a big concern. It is a big concern to me to say that if my name and the, the, the administration that I lead is taking flag on a daily basis in the newspaper, and I'm putting things on the table to say, let's clear it once and for all, then there will be a problem in doing that. There's nobody who said Dr. Musula is guilty. Mm -hmm. Nobody. All we're saying is put everything on the table, let him be vindicated if he's going to be vindicated. And if there's any wrongdoing, let that be found out. So that we don't have another Sunday paper that comes out and says, in addition to this, this is what is happening. In addition to that, this is what is happening. Therefore, the DA-led administration is failing. So that's basically what we said. Let's put everything on the table and make sure that our name as a party doesn't continue to be uh, uh, banished in the manner that it has been banished. So if, uh, you know, in me trying to do that is what led to, um, you know, um, uh, souring of relations, I think it's a bit unfortunate. Which then uh, goes to what uh, Hajra was uh, uh, asking in terms of uh, me not mentioning the EFF. Well, I have mentioned the EFF. I said if they are going to collude with the ANC. So if they are going to collude with the, e with the, with the ANC, remember they've been silent in terms of when the investigation has been. That's why I decided to mention the ANC specifically because they are the ones who have been making the, the greatest of noise, of, of noise around this particular issue. But again, like a bipolar somebody, they make noise out there and then go into council, do something else, which then tells you that somewhere, somehow, 
there must be a collision of lies um, uh, that, that, that needs to be exposed. And then, why are they now uh, dilly-dallying about how this thing needs to be dealt with? No, um, have it in, in private. No, don't have it in private. Why? If there's a principal matter to say we need to investigate, let's do that. Let's tell the public of, 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 of 20 what is really happening here. And unfortunately, I've had calls uh, you know, to say that it looks like uh, what is happening here is, is actually a political gimmick to make sure that it taints your, 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 your premier candidacy. And I think uh, you know, the evidence that is now staking up against them really builds up to that. So you ask about what arrests have been made. We've laid uh, criminal charges, and by the way, we will be laying more criminal charges. And we are hoping that uh, the, uh, Dr. Mayapak comes into office because when this uh, building was built, the initiator of that was part of uh, what they did um, as, 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 as an advisor to the mayor at a particular point in time. And uh, there's a number of companies that is involved in that we know of, that we're going to be asking some serious questions as to how they manage to get contracts into the city of Tswane and how some of the executive of the ANC at a regional level have been milking the system for the longest of time. And he needs to then come with me to the police station to come and lay criminal charges against some of his colleagues. That is a challenge that I'm putting up to him. Fixing the relationships with the EFF. I think I've always had a cordial relationship with the EFF. And if this was the first time that we ever had to, you know, bump heads, uh, where they felt that I didn't consult them. But I said to them, if uh, I didn't consult you, then put up a statement to say that you stand by me in not suspending the city manager and that you will then be able to follow through up to the point where um, the city manager is being clear of any wrongdoing. They're not willing to do that. So I said, if you're not willing to do that, then it means that my name and that of the administration that I live will continue to take a beating and I'm not willing to stand for that. I'm willing to put everything on the table and to clear people if they are to be cleared, and then move on from there. The people of Tswane deserve that. I pride myself in having stood on that principle of ensuring that we can run a transparent and clean system. And that's what we, we, we promised the people of Tswane, and that's what we're going to continue to deliver to the people of Tswane. Any other questions? Yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, in terms of your relationship with uh, the city manager, going back to that, um, you know, in this country, we work on a rule of uh, innocent until proven guilty. You have just said it yourself that um, no one has been, you know, found with, for any uh, wrong doing. If that is what you stand by, should the city manager then not be sitting next to you and then you defend him because he's part of your team until you actually have enough evidence that suggests that he should be suspended or he's not fit enough to be in your administration? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Uh, so there's also been reports that uh, the DA in Swane is actually divided along racial lines. Yeah. How confident are you that everybody come Thursday, uh, especially the DA, will vote for you to assume your position as mayor? Okay. Rory. Um, Ian, what do you think? The why do you think the EFF could not wait for the outcome of the investigation before going publicly? <laughs> Irregular appointments or the qualifications of some of the staff. Um, the EFF eventually said we are not going to comment anymore because the mayor said we will investigate and look um, the whole HR process and we will comment after. But why do you think with this matter, they are quickly say, you know what, we want to get rid of you, we're not going to wait for the outcome of the investigation? Okay. All right. Let's start with the relationship with uh, the city manager. Now, I, I haven't had any, 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 any bad blood, or there's no bad blood between me and the city manager. The city manager and my name have been taking a lot of flag relating to this alleged corruption. And this is why we've decided to put it, uh, you know, um, out there. Now, if there is any, 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 any allegation, the law is very prescriptive in terms of how you deal with it. It says that if there's a, city, a senior manager in the, in, the, in the administration, that that senior manager be put on, 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 on suspension pending the outcome of the investigation. 
So the the city manager is actually, um, you know, um, serving the seven days in which he is supposed to give us reasons why not to suspend. And I must reiterate again, we haven't said, and we are not here to prosecute anybody. We are here to say, if there's any wrongdoing, let's find it. And if the administration can be cleared out of this, if the city manager specifically can be cleared out of this, then the better. Then we will then reconfirm our position, as we have already said, that we run an effective and clean government. So that is why, uh, you know, we had gone the route that we have gone. It's, it's prescribed in law that you have to do that. Mm -hmm. Sibakle, uh, you ask about the divisions in the, in the DA. As late as yesterday um, evening, we had a DA caucus, as we normally do um, every Monday before, before, before council. Um, and uh, the, everybody in the party has pledged their support to say that, uh, you know, we will ensure that what we have started will finish together. Whether we go back into the uh, opposition benches, we'll do that together. Mm -hmm. There's not going to be a division in the party because we know what we stand for and it will remain that. We stand uh, for a clean uh, uh, and accountable uh, government. Rory, you ask a, a very uh, good question. I wish I could give you a straight answer to that. Um, when, you know, the EFF marched into my office to, oh, when we had Mako, they marched in here and demanded that Marita Okam be removed immediately. And we were already acting on that. And uh, Marita was, was put on leave. And then afterwards, when it was uh, confirmed that there, must, there was something wrong, you know, Marita um, went. And that happened in a, in a very short space of time. So now they say, well, prove that there's something wrong before we can then act. And the question is, how am I going to be able to prove that if we not can subject this to investigation? And the only way to, su to subject this to investigation is to make sure that you then take what uh, the law prescribes of you to do, to say, put a senior manager <coughs> on suspension, deal with the issues, clear him, or find him guilty. He's innocent until proven otherwise. His conduct has to be proven, uh, or the conduct of the administration has to be taken through an investigation so that we get to the bottom of it. And that's it. So the ANC now don't have anything to jump up and down about. Because they thought that I would do what they normally do. Come up with a commission of inquiry, onto a commission of inquiry, try to hide something, try to then say we'll look into the matter and come back to you. I didn't say that. I didn't do that. I took the whole thing and put it on the council table and said let's go into it. Now if that is not accountable government, I don't know what is. And anybody who then tries to stop that, the questions must be asked of them then. To come in account. <laughs> My question was why do you think EFF is jumping the gun and not waiting for the outcome of the investigation? In well, I think I answered you in the beginning. I said that is a good question, but I think you're, answering, you're asking the wrong person. I think a strict question should be asked of them to say why, um, you know, on a particular matter you were quick to jump and actually physically walked into a room and demanded somebody to be removed. And on other meta, you say, let's look for um, evidence. So I, I think it's a question that uh, is a good question to ask. But at this point in time, I think you're asking the wrong person. I'm not the one who walked into, into a medical meeting and demanded somebody be removed. I'm not the one that says to cancel, produce evidence, while the investigation is actually supposed to prove, um, you know, um, uh, uh, whether somebody is guilty or not. Mayor, are you alluding that there may be some sort of mutually beneficial relationship of uh, finances and contracts between the city manager, Dr. Mugeti Musola, and the economy freedom fighters who are not demanding his removal like they did with Marietta Oka? Samkelo, and this is why I'm saying to you, the investigation that is supposed to take place, I don't want to speculate mm -hmm. or subject people into a, a court of public <laughs> opinion. I am saying let there be an investigation. An investigation will determine if there was any wrongdoing. I must tell you, companies are taking a beating right now, unfortunately so, because you know they might have been involved in this particular issue, wrongly or rightly. That needs to be subjected um, to a, a particular investigation. And then you know things are, are being cleared as well. So I don't want to then say I'm speculating that this is the case, because then that becomes the narrative. That's not what I want to do. And this is why, before talking to the media, I followed process by going to council and saying to council, let's make sure that we do the right thing, and then I can, commit, I can comment. But I think the, 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 what do you call, the, the, the events 
then are pushing that I should comment, which is something that I didn't want to do at this particular point in time until the investigation is, com is, is completed. Uh, Mayor, uh, like, since you talked about... You are, about sir? Accumulating SSH media. Okay. Uh, you say uh, your caucus, you had a meeting with your caucus uh, last night, and they're in full support of your... They, in, they are fully behind you. So there's been a leak of uh, caucus screen grabs that were post or sent to Malema mm. and the EFF. Are you sure that your whole caucus is, in, is behind you? And do you think your call to accept premiership has made you a target? And uh, Malema made a statement today and say uh, that they are willing to give DA a chance, but they don't want you. They are willing to give DA a chance if they, they put forward another candidate. I think uh, any, any, any journalist who's been, Hajra will be one of them, who's been in the political game for a very long time, knows that caucus leaks are, are usual. It's, it's, it's something that happens. You don't agree with me, you create your own narrative somewhere else, and then it happens in any caucus. So there's nothing new in what, uh, you know, what has happened. Um, whether that will translate into um, something sinister happening on Thursday, I don't know. Uh, I don't think Arthur also knew that uh, or could have predicted that something like what happened in Nelson Mandela Bay would have happened. Uh, but be that as it may, um, you know, we had a meeting as a caucus. There's an agreement or there is a firm commi uh, commitment coming from the multi-party caucus, if I may call it that. Not just the DA caucus, the multi-party caucus, because we had a meeting with all our partners in terms of how we're going to proceed on Thursday. And that is the confirmation that is there. Obviously, you become a target when you uh, when you are you, when you oppose to, uh, to 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 rattle a few cages, I mean, my standing as a premier candidate not only does it affect the ANC in Swan, but it affects the ANC as a whole in in in, in the whole of Gauteng, um, and therefore, obviously, then uh, you know I will become the target number one. Um, so this comes as no surprise, um, but I think uh, from the party that has uh, um, seen it. Been, uh, 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 benefiting for me to to uh, to be in this particular position uh, there is that support that is coming through um, there is also that commitment um, and confirmation of the commitment to to say that we stand uh, behind our men going forward can i can i can i add to that the, the da as a party is the, uh, the 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 organization that nominates the executive mayoral mm -hmm. uh, candidate and the executive mayoral candidate for the city of Tswane is Councillor Solim Simanga, and he remains the candidate of the party for the city of Tsvangi. So if this voted out on Thursday, are you willing to put another candidate forward? No. This is our candidate. We are not willing to put any other candidate forward. Ah, okay. Hajra. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> last question. <laughs> you, you can disagree with me, um, but it sounds to me like you are not fighting for your job. It sounds to me like you are already sitting on the opposition benches. Mm. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Ajay, I think I want to make something very, very clear. And this has been the position of the DA from, from day one. If it means that we have to compromise on our principle, then we'd rather be in opposition. Yes. That is the position that has been there from day one. That is the position that I've said even in our caucus to say that we will not entertain anything that seems to dilute what we stand for. Because the moment you start doing that, then you are going to lose your core um, uh, 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 voter base. Mm -hmm. The people that voted for you because you've promised them clean government, the people that voted for you because you, 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 you said that you'll have a transparent and accountable government. Now, if I am to, to compromise on that, just for the sake of being in government, then I will be failing those mm -hmm. people and the ones that are also thinking of voting for us. So how I, I'm saying it today, we would rather be in opposition if it means we have to compromise our standpoint. Mm. So you don't want to be in government by hook or crook. You want to be in government because there is something that you want to do in government, and that is for the benefit of the people. Rory? Did, um, the years have ever contacted you about I had made a file available to the EFF. 
I had made a file up available to the EFF at a, at a local level uh, that uh, says here are the facts. This is what we are going to make sure that is in concern. And by the way, that file has been made available to anybody. You would remember when there was a, a meeting uh, or a press conference. That file was made available. So that is something that we said, here are the facts. <coughs> From where I'm sitting, the city manager has given me answers. I'm happy with the answers because it then says a number of things. But I cannot leave it here because there's more allegations that are coming up. And if there's more allegations that are coming up, then it means that there's something deeper than what I'm being told. And if that is the case, let me subject it to investigation. And we've made that available. So there's nothing that uh, is coming up as a surprise or being hidden from anybody. So we now need to then say, uh, the facts have been put on the table, then let's deal with the facts. Chloe, um, we'll, take, we'll take the last two and that they will wrap up. Chloe and oh the last three. <laughs> Chloe and yourself and then you 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 you'll be the last one. Um no Tony from Business Day. I just wanted to find out. Um when you refer to specifically with the city manager and the Glad Africa contract, mm -hmm. you said they didn't mention names and also didn't report on contract amounts, percentages mm -hmm. or limits mm -hmm. or detailed work specifications. Mm -hmm. When were you informed of the actual details? Mm -hmm. of the contract it's a big tender mm -hmm. and has a specific i assume you have a specific amount currently on what the actual contract is worth but when were you informed of this and well um if not then how how is the contract signed before especially the finance in your okay. if you didn't have an insight into that and just with regards to the statement that the city manager had put out last week after the vote with regards to the appointments um uh, about the, the staff in your office specifically. Will you be acting on that preliminary stuff that he had released? Will you be looking at it? How will you deal with it? Thank you. Okay, sir? As of now, I'm coming to Solar to Music. Uh, man, relates to, you said you always had a cordial relationship with the yeah. EFM. But with regards to the suspension or the looming suspension of the city manager. They're saying they met with you where you, in a way, sort of cared in Mosul, mm -hmm. where you told them that you are happy with the, his responses, and they were surprised a day later when the special council meeting was called, and they don't want to be part of something that's illegal. Mm -hmm. I'd like to comment on that. And another one, because it seems the main issue is how the city manager has been dealt with or, or, or treated. <coughs> EFF play any role? What else? It could be little, it could be small. Maybe they put up Mosola's name for him to be appointed. Did they recommend him? Okay. Ian Mantamay from Victoria Team. Did you have any discussions? at a national party level with your main leader about this matter? I, I mean, it seems as if the motions of no confidence in the past to the PE mayor, Apple Trollop has been averted um, following discussions at a national level um, between your party leader and uh, EFF party leader. Um, do you know if there have been any discussions on a national level? Have you been part of any such discussions maybe um, to avert this motion of no confidence? Okay. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, the Glad Africa appointment. Oh no, let me let me let me say the appointment of a project manager to assist with project management of capital projects was done off a tender of a panel of various consultants issued by the Development Bank of South Africa. That is what Regulation 32 in the uh, um, supply chain management regulations uh, oh. gives you an opportunity gives you an opportunity to use a tender that sits at another organ of state uh, if that is a particular service that you require so they you uh, the city manager used uh, regulation 32 to acquire the panel uh, of uh, project managers that the DBSA had off of that panel, 
the city manager issued, um, as I understand it, requests for proposals. Um, and according to what he re received back, he, the award was made. Nowhere in this whole process was the, the, it was ever reported on any particulars. The, the principle of a project manager uh, was originally intended to be as and when required. And when you do an as and when required uh, appointment, it, the contract itself doesn't have a value as such. So uh, the, the, the uh, uh, provider of the service performs it as and when you require it. It would appear subsequently that they were used in every single capital project of the city, which has resulted into these, this amount of money that has already been spent on, on contract management. And you will understand that if the principle is to say we needed contract project management assistance to ensure that our, co that our projects are, are completed on time and on, and on contract value, there was a particular role that they had to play. MACO never, and the mayor never, received any particulars of on what basis they were ap appointed, on what conditions they were appointed, what was the hourly rate that they were appointed on. None of that information was ever made known in any meeting through the mayoral committee or the mayor. Right. It is the, it, as I say, it, it was a value, obviously in excess of 10 million rand, so the city manager was the one who awarded that contract. But it is imperative that when, when you get whistleblowers starting to talk to you about possible irregularities in this process, then it is the responsibility of this government to investigate. And that's what we're trying to do. Let's get to the bottom of what is really on here. And if it's legit, fine. But if we have a responsibility to investigate that. So none, none of the particulars of this particular, not even the name of whoever was appointed, was made known to, 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 the, to the executive mayor and the mayoral committee until the third quarter of this year. All right. All right. Thank you. So, so basically what you get is that you get a panel that is adopted. The panel will consist obviously of a number of, of, of uh, service providers. You adopt that as, as that is you are appointed as, as a panel. And only you will have a value once work is, is yes. actually commissioned. Yeah. Mm. Because that work will come from a department to say we need assistance in this or we need assistance in that. That's how you then begin to attach value into a particular mm. contract. Because it's as and when. So you don't appoint somebody and says, here's 300 million. No, no, no. When there's a job that needs to be done, that needs project management capacity, then you are able to then attach value to it. But if they use then basically for everything, as the MMC has just said, mm -hmm. what is the value that you have paid for them up until this moment? Is that something that you can give us? We can, I can give you. They, the yes, they, they are appointed, um, as it is, in two separate contracts. The one is at the R, uh, BRT uh, project management unit, and the other one is the general project management unit. Now, between the period of um, July 20, no, let me, let, me, let me start with the other one. Uh, the document dates started in July, um, no, started in January 2018, was the earliest. On this particular project, uh, the total amount of money that has been spent on GLAD Africa is 320, almost 328 million rand. On the other contract, uh, the total amount of money spent since, since uh, last year in October, and this would appear to be the BRT, the BRT contract, is 217 million rand. So in between the project management unit and the BRT um, project management, uh, the total value is almost 600 million rand. So you will understand that it is a serious issue that, that requires full investigation. All right. Um, well, Mashang, you ask about uh, the, the the city manager. Uh, how was Mus how is Musula treated? I'm I'm not too sure if I follow how is Musula treated. Oh yes, 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 yes. Um, I don't think that uh, the city manager has been treated 
any any way onto it. As I said, the the law is very very um, the, the 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 Systems Act is very very clear. There's allegations. You need to investigate. In fact, I'm compelled to take that information to counsel. And then, it Systems Act is also very very clear. You need to make sure that. You, you suspend. But before suspending, you need to write to the city manager or to the senior official and give them an opportunity to tell you reasons why they shouldn't be suspended. Right? So they provide the, the reasons. I don't make the decision. I then take it to council to say, council, here are the reasons given why not to suspend. And then council then take a, a decision on whether they're happy with those reasons or they want to proceed with the suspension. So. Um, you know, I now, but I'm compelled by law to make sure, by the Systems Act, to make sure that I'm able to then uh, uh, put this uh, in place. So I don't think that, uh, uh, you know, there's been any kind of uh, negative or, mal uh, or malice that is uh, going towards the city manager. It's all what I am told to do by, by, by the law. On the EFF saying you met with them prior to the special council meeting and when you told them that you are happy with this explanation? You, you must remember there's a number of things that, uh, that, that, that took place. A, we got the allegations that they were coming up. When the allegations come up, we wrote to the city manager. I wrote to the city manager and said, please give us. Before, by the way, before the ANC even jumped on the matter, I, we had already even written to the city manager to say, here are the allegations. Can you please just confirm what is happening here? The city manager wrote to us or wrote to me. While I was applying my mind, I then said, okay, from what I've seen, there's a good explanation, so I'm, I'm okay with what I'm being told. Then more came up. And that's why I then said earlier on, when that more information came up, it then said to me, that needs to be more that needs to be looked into than what I have been given. And this is why we have decided to go further than what we had actually uh, you know, dealt with. So yes, the initial report that I received suggested and said to me that everything was above board because all supporting documents were there. Um, you know, the timeline that uh, had been put in place did uh, match up. But then, once you hear of uh, other things that are coming up, you know, you hear of offices that are being given free of charge, you hear of the raids and all of that. Those are things that are not reported. And as I said, MECO documents are there to you, for you to see what has been given to us. Um, everybody's allowed to then take copies of what had been reported. So all those things are your operational issues that were never given to us. Mm -hmm. And once that comes up, then you realize that what I've been given might not be sufficient. And this is why we decided I couldn't suspend the city manager. I then took the decision to go to council and say, council, here's what I have, but these are the allegations. Can we then uh, make sure that we deal with this matter? If council decided then we don't want to deal with it, then I could have said, let's kill it, because council have decided that there's nothing um, here to, to, to be said or to be done, and then you close it that, uh, at that uh, particular point in time. That is what uh, the law requires of us, and that's what we have done. Oh, yes. Um, no. Um, because remember, uh, Dr. Musola had applied, um, you know, before, um, had applied um, whether anybody uh, knew Dr. Musula before that, um, you know, I don't know. It, 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 it means to be, uh, it remains a mystery. It will remain a mystery forever in a day. What we know is that Dr. Musula was part of the, the initial applicants for the particular position. The reason why he didn't make the first cut was that, um, you know, uh, we, we, we had, there, there was, a, there was a, 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 the first uh, shortlist that was being done. That was then uh, uh, concluded, and then we decided that let's expand on the scope so that uh, we can then interview more people. That's how Dr. Musola then came here. So I, I wouldn't say that the EFF had anything to do with his particular appointment because he was not headhunted by anybody. He had applied himself. Um, Anton, the <laughs> can, we, can we avert the, 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 the motion? Um, I don't know if we, if we can. There is um, communications at a national level on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. That takes place on a daily basis. Um, when there are issues, when there is discomfort, when any of uh, the mayors or the, the, the councillors in any of the coalition government seems to be unhappy with a number of things, that will always be raised at, a, at, a, at, a, at that level. So this is one of those things that had also been raised at that particular level. But as, uh, as I'm sitting here, um, the party, uh, you know, uh, said that uh, 
we will continue to talk, but it doesn't necessarily mean that in that in those talks that uh, this motion can be adopted <coughs> because either way, there's two motions that are going to be put up um, on, on on Thursday. And as things are standing, the EFF uh, continues to say that their motion will stand. So if that answers you. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Uh, two hours. It's 30 minutes. It's 30 minutes. Thank <laughs> 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 <laughs>